New on the night be creating a cleaner city for the future. Tonight, CPS Energy heard from customers who want the company to lead the future in clean energy creation. The night team's Patty Santos is just back from a public input meeting with the Board of Trustees in attendance. CPS Energy wants the community to help them create a plan and what their energy investment should look like for the next 10 years and beyond. This is all part of the city of San Antonio's climate ready initiative to clean up our air. More than a dozen people were in attendance uh, for this public meeting held at La Villita tonight. About 40 people were scheduled to speak to the board, many of them expressing their desire for the energy provider to do away with fossil and coal fuel use. The company said says that's the goal and it falls in line with the city of San Antonio's plan to lower its air pollution. Now the energy provider says making big changes to its energy production now is difficult, but with the help of customers, they're trying to make make clean energy driven decisions for the future. What are we doing uh, for the next 10 to 20 to 30 years that's going to help San Antonio uh, and CPS Energy not only attain but stay within EPA regulations and ensure that we're not only setting the pace but that we're a leader when it comes to looking at new technologies. What we're seeing today is the realization that the community understands that they get to be a part of, part of that too. And so I think that San Antonio can be a clean energy leader well into the future. Now this is a picture of a new $16 million solar grid being built off of Highway 151 in military. CPS Energy says the 48 acres facility with battery storage will open sometime later in the summer. Now if you want to say on how have a say in how the city plans uh, to clean up its air, a public meeting will be held tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the Central Library in downtown. Tim, Myra.